Okay, so welcome to your first official Mary Kay Makeover. My name is Rena, and I've been with Mary Kay at this recording for 18 years. What my goal is with this video is to teach you the basic words that I say at a skincare presentation so you'll have some ideas of what you can use. These are just suggestions. doesn't mean you have to do it exactly this way, but it's going to be a capture of my experience in Mary Kay and using the Mary Kay products. The first thing you want to do is you want to make a connection with people and let them know why you're in Mary Kay. Because people always wonder, well, why, why is she selling lipstick? Is she here for the money? And one of the things that I realized about Mary Kay is there is so much more to this business than just making some money. I have a master's degree in electrical engineering. There's about a million different ways I could be making money, but I choose this one. And the reason was that growing up, I always felt like I was not good enough. I did not have enough. Um, I wasn't a very popular kid, and I didn't have very much self-confidence. So why I started Mary Kay was that Mary Kay gave me that. It gave me my self-confidence. It gave me belief in myself, and I wanted to give that to other people. That's kind of what got me started with Mary Kay. And so my goal now is to give women the power and the confidence that they never had so they can live their dreams the way that I've been able to give to my family and live my dreams. So right now you are using the number one best-selling brand of skincare and color cosmetics in the U.S. There's three things we're going to do tonight. Yes, when you use this video, you don't need to say every single thing I say. I'm going to give you actually more words than you need. But it's very good to give people an agenda, okay? Because an agenda helps them kind of realize what to expect that night. So the first thing is we're going to focus on Mary Kay 101, which is learning about skin care. And my gift to you tonight is going to be clean, beautiful, healthy skin. So let them know that tonight the focus is on skin care. The second thing is, at the end of this presentation, I will give you five minutes of my personal private time so you can answer, ask any questions that you might have about your individual needs, and you can also have the opportunity to book a customized glamour makeover with me. A lot of times consultants say, well, at the end, I cannot do the individual consultation. Well, you need to tell them in the beginning that you they're going to have an individual consultation or they may not understand it at the end that that's what your intention was. Anything that you want to come across in a skincare class, you need to mention at least seven times. If you don't mention it seven times, they don't hear it. Okay. Yes. Plus, you'll have the chance to share your next Glamour Makeover with some friends and earn some of your Mary Kay, favorite Mary Kay products for free. So thank you for coming and welcome. Well, in Mary Kay, we recommend you use one line for best results. The thing is that different cosmetic companies don't test their cleansers and moisturizers and foundation products together. So when you mix and match those on their face, one might be making you oily well, one might be drying you out, and you don't always get the results you want. One of the neatest things about using Mary Kay is that we recommend using one complete line for results. I've been using Mary Kay since I was 17 years old, so I haven't had mixing and matching of products on my face, and it's made a huge difference for me personally on how my skin looks. It's much more smoother, no bumps or uh, little divots or ditches in the, you know, much more smoother skin. My, I've also had very few wrinkles and overall had several comp compliments on my makeup and skin throughout the years. And even if I don't wear skincare, I mean, don't wear a color, you can still see amazing skin. We also have the Miracle Set, which is over here on the right, and that it has the Good Housekeeping seal of approval. So Good Housekeeping actually tested our products and said that... It, they do what we claim they'll do. So if you don't see the results that we tell you from these products, Good Housekeeping will actually refund your money. Not only that, Mary Kay has a money-back guarantee, but so does Good Housekeeping. So it all began with the Hyde Tanner. For those of you that have read Mary Kay's books, in her autobiography, how she started, and again, I want you to have this story for background information. You don't necessarily need to use it. But many years ago... Mary Kay was with Stanley Home Products, and she was doing home shows. And she went to this lady's home, and everybody looked fabulous. And back then, they had pink light bulbs. So you know it was a while ago. And she thought, oh, my God, it's the lighting. I'm going to get these pink light bulbs, so when people come to my house, they're going to say, man, she looks so good. Well, after the Stanley party was over, Mary Kay went to the kitchen, the women still looked good, and the lighting had changed. So what ended up happening was she met a the daughter of a hide tanner. And many years ago in Tyler, Texas, there was a man whose business was tanning hides. 
And one day, he decided, you know, if you could take a stiff, old, ugly cowhide and turn it into a small, poor, soft piece of leather like a glove, what could you do with living skin like human skin? So what would happen is he started using the same formulations from tanning hide on his face. And it was said that he looked much, much younger than his actual age. Now, his daughter had taken those products to Dallas, and she was in cosmetology cosmetology school. She was trying to make them into creams and lotions and stuff that people could use. And that was in the lady in the kitchen whose house that Mary Kay showed up with. Later on, Mary Kay bought the rights to those products. The products she's using today are way more advanced than the high tenors formulations. All our products are non-comedogenic. They will not clog your pores. They're also, um, most of them are fragrance-free and they are tested for skin irritancy and allergy. So we're going to be focusing today on the TimeWise skincare line. TimeWise is TimeWise for two reasons. The first thing is it takes time off your face. So these are anti-aging products with, that, with a patented vitamin A and E derivative to help take time off your face. The second thing that TimeWise is TimeWise for is it takes time off your routine. So it makes you TimeWise that way. So it also t- takes time off your routine. So the cl- they're multifunctional products that have more than one um, function, such as our cleanser is a cleanser. It's a mass product. It's a toning product and an anti-aging product, all which you can use in the shower, so you, it will help speed up your routine. So let's go ahead and start with the cleanser. Whenever you want to touch your face, you want to use your ring and your middle finger. They're your weakest. You always want to go up because that's the direction of your skin's dermal fibers. Under your eyes, you have four layers of skin, whereas the rest of the face, you have 14. So if you ever notice, where do you get wrinkles the first? So you want to kind of pause and let them come up with the answer. Anytime you ask a question, just pause for a second and give them a minute to think. So where do you think you get wrinkles the first? And most people come up with the eyes. So you only want to use your ring finger under the eye, and you want to go from the outside, from the hairline towards the nose, so you do not stretch the skin. In your first pocket, and you want to go ahead and point it out or have a little number one on your tray, you have the cleanser. I want you to go ahead and take your ring and middle finger and put it on half your face. So I want you to do one whole cheek, half a forehead, half your nose, and half your chin. The purpose of the cleanser is to surface clean. You're removing dirt, oil, makeup, and excess dead skin from the upper two-thirds of your pores. So you're going to cleanse every morning and every evening, right? You're not going to go to bed with makeup on, just like you do now. At Mary Kay, like I said, we offer you two complimentary makeovers. The first one is like this to test our products. The second one is in a week or 10 days, and we come and check up on you. So feel this cleanser. This is based on the profile that you filled out. But at your checkup facial, you might decide that you want something a little heavier or lighter, and I can switch it out at that point. Next, what I'm going to go ahead and do is give you the lip mask. The lip mask, you can actually do both sides of your lips. So go ahead. It's got a little bit of grains, and it's right here next to your cleanser. And go ahead, put it on your lips. What I do is I have them use the cleanser and the lip mask together because then I'm going to wet their washcloths and have them take them off together. So both those products need to come off. So they're going to not only wipe off the lip mask at this point, but the cleanser as well. At that point, what I'm going to have them do is try the lip balm. Okay? And I'm going to give them the lip balm and put it on their lips, and I'm going to say, how do your lips feel? Let them tell you how their lips feel. First of all, there's two reasons you do that. If there's a problem, you want to know. And if they like it, it's much more convincing for them if they say their lips feel nice, soft, smooth, or kissable than if you say it. So it's important that the client has the experience, not you giving them an experience. So what I tell them is there's two things I like about the satin lips. The first thing is you have your skin, then you have a layer of dead skin, and if you put on a moisturizer, what will get it the first? The dead skin. So what the lip mask did was it exfoliated. It took off dead skin, took off any food particles and dirt on your lips, and then when you put on the lip balm, you have much better penetration. That's why it feels so soft. Another cool thing that I love about our lip balm is that it's alcohol-free. Many of the cheap sticks in the drugstore have alcohol in them. So when you use them, 
they actually dry out your lips. And what you'll find out is that people apply those products over and over and over again. And that's basically because they have the alcohol in it. So this one is alcohol free and you'll actually be able to feel it tonight when you take off your makeup. At this point, I have them stick their hands out in front of them. I have them flip so they have the side of the hand opposite their palm on facing both cheeks and I have them feel both cheeks simultaneously. So I say, go ahead, stick your hands out, all the way out, then flip them and feel. And can you tell a difference between the two sides? You'll be surprised, even with just the cleanser, many people can tell a difference between the two sides. Again, it's important that the client have an experience and tell you how the products feel, not you telling them how they feel. So several points during your presentation, you want to check in with the client and see how they're doing it. So it's important that you put the cleanser and lip mask on together because they both wipe off. Then you want to do the lip balm because that gives this, the cleansing side a chance to dry. Otherwise, a lot of times if you don't do that, they'll just tell you one side's wetter. Okay? And then you got to kind of wait a little bit. So I found out that if you do the lip balm, it's enough to dry it out. So they can actually tell. And a lot of times they'll say softer, smoother. It just feels cleaner. And then what you want to do is anytime the client makes a positive remark like that, you want to anchor it and say, so can you imagine what your face would feel like if you did this every day? Can you imagine what my skin would be like after using Mary Kay for 30 years? Okay, so you want to go ahead and anchor the remark so they can say, hey, this is just one time. And guys, I used the products when I was 17 one time, and oh my God, my skin felt amazing for three days. And I knew I was on to something. I was 17 and I was broke, but I was like, I've got to get this stuff. Next, we're going to do the day solution. Again, you're going to go ahead and apply it on the same half of the face as the cleanser. The day solution actually now has an SPF of 35. It keeps changing. So depending on when you're watching this video, it might have been different. I tell people that it's a skin firming cream. We have a pro renewal system, protection in the day with the day solution, renewal at night with the night solution. And what this will do is it helps your skin firmer, become firmer, okay? Also, during the day, you use more facial muscles. When you have to use more facial muscles, your skin has to snap back to its um, original format, right? So the day solution has skin calming peptides that helps the skin snap back to its original position and not wrinkle with all the ex external muscle use. It's got a full spectrum sunscreen. What that means is that it protects from UVA, A meaning aging, and UVB, B meaning burning. So both the UVA and UVB rays of the sun. And also remember that some people do not go out a lot, but... Some internal lights also age the skin inside just as much as they do outside. So I go ahead and have them put the day solution on the same half of the face and tell them that this is a skin firming cream that you would use it in the day. And it looks like milk when you pour it out. It kind of has a white uh, milk look. It's for the morning, milk in the morning. And then I say, and we're also going to keep on with our anti-aging products with our night solution. I show them the microbeads in the night solution, and I say you need to remember the word ACE because we're going to ACE your fight against anti-aging with vitamin A, vitamin C, and vitamin E. So remember the word ACE because what three vitamins are in the night solution? A, C, and E. I give them half a squirt. Don't give them a full squirt because it'll take forever to absorb. And they put it on the back of one hand. So the opposite the palm, one hand, and one hand only. And I have them rub that in. And I'll say, look at the beads. If you know anything about vitamins, they, you know they lose potency. Vitamins usually lose about 80% of potency in the first minute they touch air. If you look at the beads in our night solution, they're encapsulated and in a gel, so they are not touching the air in the bottle. When you pump them, they pump open and they go straight into your skin. Your skin goes into a night uh, repair cycle at night. And what these do is gives it powerful antioxidants to help repair your skin. So now what I'm going to have them do, by this time, the night solution on the back of their hand should have dried a little bit. So I have them pinch the one hand and pinch the other hand. 
One thing they'll notice is that it's firmer or harder to pinch. Now, sometimes they'll make little remarks like, oh, it's just wetter. And I go, yeah, and it's also firmer. Okay. So sometimes they say it's wetter, but it's also firmer. And then the other one, now this one works, I would say, 80% of the time for me personally. So you guys can kind of see what your uh, results are. But I have them pinch really hard where they use the night solution and also pinch really hard where they did not use the night solution. And what they'll find out is many times that it does not hurt as much. And then what I tell them is, so when you have proper nourishment, your skin can handle a little extra stress. Again, you guys, you want to mention the checkup facial because if you do not mention it seven times, what happens? They're not going to hear it. So I let them know, these are the anti-aging products that you're trying today at your checkup facial. You're welcome to try some of our other anti-aging products such as our night recovery system and Serum Plus C. After the night solution, we're going to go ahead and hydrate your skin with the moisturizer. We have two formulas of TimeWise Age Fighting Moisturizer. Go ahead and put the moisturizer on half your face. You're going to use this every morning and every evening just like you do now because it hydrates for up to 10 hours. So if you were using it twice a day, that's almost 20 hours of hydration. The important thing with moisture is to have balance, okay? This is an oil-free moisturizer, which means it's 100% oil-free. Many cosmetic companies label their products as oil-free, but they have, might have a little bit of oil in them. Isn't it good to know that when Mary Kay, when we say oil-free, we actually mean 100%. And what I like to do is give the analogy of a grape and a raisin. Think of a grape and a raisin. The grape's all plump and smooth. The raisin's all wrinkly and pruney. The grape has more water, and that's what we're doing to your skin cells. We're plumping them up with more water. At this point, I'm going to have them for the second time stick their hands out all the way out in front of them, flip over to the backside and feel and say, now you should really be able to tell the difference between your skin. And based on that, they might say softer, smoother, uh, fresher. Those are typical words that you'd hear. And sometimes they might be using really good products. And they might even say there's not much of a difference. If that happens and they're using good products, then say, wouldn't it be good to have something cost-effective like Mary Kay if it's giving you about the same results? Okay, so if they're using an expensive product and getting good results, and they could get the same results with Mary Kay, and we're more, more cost-effective than most skincare lines, then why would you use the expensive products, right? So you want to make sure that they know that. Again, if they say anything positive, you want to go ahead and anchor that, okay? Now, let's say someone has super oily skin or super dry skin. This is a great place to also anchor the individual pro uh, appointments, say, Use their name. So, Andrea, at your individual consultation, when I give you five minutes of my personal private time at the end, be sure to mention to me about the oiliness in your T-zone, and I'll tell you a couple other secrets that we can work with that. This is the oil-free eye makeup remover. I do not show it at a class um, unless they're wearing tons of eye makeup. But it is a great product, you guys. Right now, it is one of the best oil-free makeup removers on the market, best-selling oil-free makeup removers on the market. What I really like about it is my eyes are super sensitive. And with sensitive eyes, it doesn't burn or irritate my eyes at all. So that's what I really like about it. You have to shake it to activate it because it takes off water-based eye makeup on the top and waterproof eye makeup on the bottom. So you need to activate them and mix them together so it takes off both the water base and waterproof eye makeup. I like to squirt it out on a cotton round versus a cotton ball because you have a little more space on a cotton round. Have them hold it up against their eye, let the eye makeup melt off, and then just wipe it off gently. So make sure you shake it to activate it. It's an oil-free eye makeup remover. Okay, so after this, we have done now the cleanser. We have done the day solution, the night solution. We've done the satin lips, and we've done the moisturizer. So what am I going to do now? I tell them we're going to take a quick detour and do some special stuff for our eyes. And I say, remember, your eyes have no sebaceous glands, so they produce no moisture. Lack of moisture is grounds for wrinkles. So the first thing I'm going to do is give you a little bit of our adult soothing eye gel. And what the indulge soothing eye gel does is you're going to put on a little bit with your ring finger on one eye. 
And what you're going to do is go ahead and put a little bit under the eye. So the dark circle area, you're going to have them pat it there and under the eyebrow. You're going to have it pat it under the eyebrow. So you put it on under the eye and under the eyebrow. Remember, all eye products travel. So even though you don't put it all the way to your lashes, this product will end up at your lashes. Now, why is it green? Because it's got cucumber and green tea extract. So it's not colored green. It's just got cucumber and green tea extract. It'll increase hydration in your eye by 130%. It also reduces uh, puffiness. It also improves firmness. This product is what we call a free radical scavenger. If you're not familiar with free radicals, they're ionized electrons in the air. And when they bond with skin, they break down molecular structure. For example, your body actually uses free radicals to break down bacteria and viruses in your body. So if you want to totally annihilate an organism, you would use a free radical. One of the cool things about these products is that they bond with the free radicals on your skin so not as many will go into your skin. At this point, I'll also have them try the firming eye cream. We have two eye creams, the age fighting and the firming. I prefer the firming, so at their first facial, I'll have them try the firming eye cream. So nine out of ten women saw younger looking skin. They, wherever they put the indulge soothing eye gel, I'll have them put the firming eye cream right on top of that. So they're going to go ahead and pat it under their eye and pat it under the eyebrow. The first one, you guys, was instant moisturizer. Big drink of moisturizer. This second one is a 10-hour time release. So think of the first one as a big drink of water for the eye, the eye gel. And then the second one is kind of a spray bottle, so it's misting the eye and hydrating for a period of 10 hours. Both of the products are free radical scavengers, and both of the products are 100% oil-free. At this point, I'm going to tell them about some extra products in the line. Why would I do that? Because I want these to absorb, and it takes a couple of seconds for them to absorb, so this is a great time for a commercial. You can tell them that we have extra hydration products. You don't have to go into everything, but just telling them usually is enough. So if somebody needs it or is looking for a super moisturizer, they know. Also, let them know we have other skincare lines like the TimeWise Repair and the Botanicals. So if the TimeWise Miracle Set is not their favorite product, let them know that we have stuff for older skin and younger skin. And we also have body care products. At this point, you're going to have them take their skincare profile and turn it over. And on the back, they have sections where they can write names and numbers of people that they would like to give you as referrals. I will tell you, my personal opinion is about 80% of the people will give you referrals if you ask. So what I do is I tell them, turn your profile over. I don't ask them, you guys. I tell them. Turn your profile over, and right here, go ahead and think of five people that you think might enjoy a Mary Kay makeover. Grab your cell phone, give me their names and numbers, and I'll have a free gift for you. Normally, just telling them that you'll have a free gift for them is enough to get them started writing on the products. So go ahead and just turn it over, and I'll have a free gift for you. That's usually how I get referrals. If they're hesitating, or one of them's writing and someone's not writing, what I tell them is, and what I'm going to say to them is, Hi, Mandy. My name is Rena. I'm a friend of your friend, Yolanda. And Yolanda left me a $15 gift certificate in your name if you would like to have a Mary Kay makeover and give me your opinion of our products. So think about people that you like that you would like to give them $15 for free. And a lot of times that will get them giving referrals. Um, if you have time, they can even write down one or two things they admire of them, like they're helpful or creative or super supportive, whatever they like to do. And that way, out of a skincare class, you can come out with 30 or 40 names of referrals that will help you with future bookings. Also, at the end, when you do your individual consultation, when someone is giving you five or seven names, you know that they know enough people to have a skincare party 
and get some uh, products for free. What that gives you is it gives you a little bit of leverage to have another appointment from the appointment you're already at. At this point, their eye products have dried a little, so I have them put on the eye primer. Again, this is on one eye and one eye only. The eye primer is going to go under the eye, on the lid, all the way up to the eyebrow. So it's going to go in the dark circle area, on the lid, all the way to the eyebrow. And what I tell them is it's an eyeshadow keeper honor. It's a cream to powder formulation. It'll help your eyeshadow stay on longer. And on the bottom, it'll help lighten and brighten the dark circles. It'll also help your liner keep from traveling. At this point, I have them pull up the mirror, take it at full arm's length, and get light on both eyes. So they might have to look up or look outside of a window to get light on both eyes. And I say, what is the difference that you see between your two eyes? Sometimes... And you guys, I've even had this with 18-year-old girls. They see a huge difference. It looks like they have one lazy eye. It looks like they have one lazy eye and one straight eye. So that could be the case. Sometimes it's a subtle difference. You see a little more eyelid. The eye looks lifted or a little lighter and brighter. And sometimes they might just tell you, you know what? I don't see any difference. So here's what how you would respond. If they say that they don't see any difference... What you say is, well, that means that you have pretty good tissue in the eye area. Don't wait till it gets damaged before you start using good products. If they see a little bit of difference, then I say that you have a little bit of tissue deterioration in your eye area, and I highly recommend that you start using good products now. Don't wait, you know, don't wait till it's really messed up. Start taking care of it now because that's what you need. Now, with the three eye products, a lot of times you will hear people say, oh, my God, do I have to do all the, this every morning? I say, you know what? I use sometimes, ideally, yes, you would use the green gel, then the firming eye cream, then the eye primer every morning. But sometimes I use one in the morning, one at night. Sometimes I'll use one for a week. Sometimes I only remember it at night. It doesn't matter. The point is start doing something good for your eyes that's oil-free, that's going to protect them and take care of them so you're not trying to backpedal when you're older. At this point, I also show the concealer. My favorite concealer, if they have ivory or beige skin tones, is the yellow concealer. If they have bronze skin tone, is the bronze one concealer. The reason is that the yellow breaks red and blue. So if they ever have a zit, it's a pretty red shade. And under their eyes, they have blue veins. So it's a blue shade. The yellow is very powerful. You want to take an eensy, weensy, teensy bit. With both the yellow and bronze concealer, you want to stipple or pat it only where it's dark. So you'll notice a lot of people are only dark in the tear duct or in the section of the eye near the nose where the vein is. When you go to the outer corner of the eye, very few people are dark. So do not cover the entire eye. Only cover where it's dark. Some people have darkness towards the tear duct, and then it goes down away from the nose at an angle. Again, remember to only cover where it's dark with the concealer. We now also sell separately a concealer brush. Concealer brushes are great to put on the concealer with because you can get it right in the little nooks and crannies exactly where you want the concealer. So you can cover dark circles. You can cover breakouts. Also, some people have dark spots on their face or they have redness across their nose and cheeks. If they have a red section, maybe it's rosacea or just a sunburn, or some people have a natural red tone, putting the yellow across the nose and cheeks will also help break the redness. So this is a yellow concealer. Remember, they want to use very, very, very little, and you want to pat because patting keeps it above the skin, so that's called stippling. Patting or stippling, so it keeps on top of the skin, because anytime you rub products, rubbing makes it go into the skin. So after the concealer, I'm going to have them try the microdermabrasion. This product is meant for your face, but when I show it at a party, I show it on their arm. And the reason I show it on the arm is because sometimes I've put it on people's faces and done half their face with microdermabrasion and they end up being two different foundation colors. I take off so much dirt. <laughs> so what I tell them is go ahead and rub this on your arm, rub hard, rub soft, rub for about a minute. 
What microdermabrasion does is it gently takes off the top layer of your skin. Your skin is then forced into a repair cycle, so you always have younger, fresher skin. These are aluminum oxide crystals, the same grain of crystals you would get at a spa or a dermatologist office. So go ahead, just rub it in your skin. I have them rubbed for a minute. Now, at this point, I will take their washcloths back, two at a time, so I know whose is in what hand. I will rinse them out again and give them back to them to take the microdermabrasion off their arms. Again, I can tell them, you know, at your checkup facial, we can try some more skin supplements. So this is a great time to plug the checkup facial. Or you can say at the individual consultation, I'll let you know what else microdermabrasion can do for you. Once they rub it off their arms, I have them feel to make sure they have the grains off. And once they do, I say, now here's step two. These are vitamins for your brand new soft skin. So you get vitamins for your soft skin with the, vit with the vitamin. When they're done, you have them feel the arm that they did the vi microdermabrasion on and have them feel the other arm. Usually they can tell a huge difference. Once they say that, that it's softer or smoother or whatever, then you say, Don't you, doesn't that feel good? Doesn't that feel nice? You can also have them, um, I sometimes use it on my feet or my shoulders, and my daughter sometimes gets bumps on the back of her arms, so sometimes she uses it there. So you can use that as any part of the body, but it's designed for the face. Okay, after that, we're going to have them try the foundation primer. And the foundation primer, again, goes on the same half of the face. What it is is a lightweight gel that glides in, and it kind of, if you have any unevenness in the skin, it fills that up. It also helps your foundation stay on longer. Our foundation primer also has an SPF of 15. So I tell them if they want the flawless makeup look and for their makeup to last longer, to use the foundation primer. And sometimes I just say, doesn't it just feel nice? After the foundation primer, you're going to have them go to the foundation. We have a really amazing foundation brush. If you have not tried putting on foundation with a brush, you've got to try our brush. It feels like silk. It's just amazing to me. What you're going to do is go ahead and match their foundation. Let me tell you the best way to match foundation. Do it to a lot of people. And the more people you match with, the better you'll get at it. Just keep trying, and pretty soon you'll just learn that, oh, when she looks like this, I want to use an ivory five. And if she's a little darker than that, use a different color. At the meetings, we actually have you put foundation on all over your arms so you can see what the undertones are, and that gives you a really good idea of how to match. So try all the foundations on your skin, and that will tell you how they work. So we have two foundations, matte wear and luminous wear. I usually demonstrate matte wear, and then if they need the luminous wear, I'll just let them know. I'll say, you know, Yolanda, at your uh, individual clothes, I think you need the luminous wear, so be sure you re remind me when I give you five minutes of my personal private time because I think you would like the coverage of that foundation. There are four things that I love about our foundation. The first thing is our foundation feels very light. And so I ask him, do you notice how light this feels? How they're going to apply it is they're going to put a dot on each cheek, a dot on the tip of their nose, a dot on their forehead, and a dot on their chin. And then I tell them, connect the dot. And they say, both sides of the face? I say, yes, both sides, because you want to see the difference of how product goes on on treated skin versus untreated skin. So they put the foundation on both sides, and I ask them, how did it go on on one side versus the other? Four things I love about the foundation. First of all, how light it is. The second thing I love about the foundation is that it's a free radical scavenger, so it'll protect their face from dirt and pollutants. The third thing I love about this foundation is it's a natural pigment, so it will not change colors on your face. Go orange. And the fourth thing that I really love about our foundation is that it's transfer resistant. So when you change your shirt and stuff, you're not going to get the big smudgies on your face. And wearing it, using the brush will also save products. Sometimes if I'm doing a makeover, I'll let the hostess use a brush and everybody else just use their fingers. At this point, you want to review because they've seen a lot of products and they're probably confused with what they do. 
So I go through the five step, uh, the five sets that we've done. I say, so the first uh, set we did was your skincare. I ha- lift up my demo products so they can see the size of the products. And I say, remember, that was the three, uh, three-in-one cleanser. And at this point, we want you to do what we call romancing the products. Remember the three-in-one cleanser? Remember how it cleansed, exfoliated, and how fresh and clean it made your face feel? And then we had the age-fighting moisturizer. It was so nice and light and 100% oil-free. And then we just used the foundation that helped protect your skin and keep it nice and smooth and went out and so nice with the cleanser and moisturizer. Okay? This is our basic skincare. This set is going to last you about four to six months. And if you use to the Fufu lines in the mall, they retail for $40, 50 or $60 a bottle. So for three items, you could spend over $150. If you're using the OK lines, they're usually $30 or $40 a bottle. So for three products, you can spend over $100. Isn't it great to know that our three products retail for 60 So if you look at that, for four to six months, that's like 15 bucks a month or three-something a week. Even if you were going to the drugstore or the grocery store, you were getting a cleanser that had a mask, a toner, and an anti-aging product, a 100% oil-free moisturizer that was anti-aging, and a natural pigment foundation. Wouldn't you be spending over $3 a week? So why not use the number one skincare line when it costs less? To that, you could add the Miracle, which is our milk in the morning, stars at night, the day solution, which was the collagen boost and SPF, and then the night solution, which was your vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, night repair. These five uh, products together are called our Miracle Set because you get 11 anti-aging benefits and 19 patents right here on these five products. They also have good housekeeping seal of approval. On your arm, we did the microdermabrasion, and that's if you have some extra uh, stuff on your skin, zits, wrinkles, breakouts that you want to get rid of. We also did our eye products, the eye gel, which remember was the big drink of water for the eye, the eye cream, which was your 10-hour moisturizer, and the eye primer, which was your eye shadow keeper honor. We also did our satin hands and satin lips, and this is just great for if you have dry skin anywhere on your hands, your bodies, or your lip. You can use our satin hands and satin lips. So now let's go ahead and I want to teach you the world's most famous makeup look, which I lovingly call the dash out the door. You guys, at this point, if you are dealing with people that maybe money's a little tight, you might want to overcome another objection at this point. And at that point, what I would say is, how many of you say that sometimes towards the end of the day, your makeup fades? It's either oiled off or just kind of goes away. Well, if your makeup isn't staying on your face, then it's your skin care. Because the job of your skin care is to help keep makeup on your face. I show them my makeup. I do my makeup at 9, 10 in the morning, and it stays on all night, all day, all night, till about 11 at night when I take it off. I do not touch up. I do not uh, do any of that stuff except for lipstick if I eat. So what I say is, this is my makeup. I did it at 9 or 10 that morning, depending on whatever time I got ready after exercising. And if you notice, it's still on my face. So if you've got good skin care, your makeup will stay on your face. And if your makeup's traveling, then it's your skin care. So a lot of times people will say, I just bought 50 bucks of brand X or 70 bucks of brand Y. Uh, let me use that up, and then I'll try Mary Kay. And my question to you is, if it's not even keeping makeup on your face, is it really working? So what my clients like to do is go ahead and use those other products, Brand X and Brand Y, on their bodies and get something that gives them results for their face. You might also have an objection at this point. And just kind of keep your ears open. Again, I'm going to give you more dialogue than you need for your actual show. But people might be saying, oh, my God, it takes so long. If you hear them seeming to get frustrated or any kind of comments about how long it takes. So then I say is, okay, we're going to have a race, and I'll take out my iPhone and put on a timer. And I say, on your marks, get set, go, and we're going to do everything we do in the morning. So ready, ladies? This is a race. Here we go. All right, take your cleanser. You're going to clean one hand. So clean the back of the hand. Clean your fingers. Okay, quickly, quickly. Grab your washcloth. You're going to take it off. 
Now go ahead, put on your day solution. You want to put your sunscreen all over your hand. All right, go ahead, take your moisturizer, and you want to hydrate and moisturize your hand. Now take your yellow concealer, conceal any knuckles or veins you might have, and put on your eye cream on your knuckles and pretend like they're your eyes. Then go ahead, take your foundation, protect your hand, protect your hand. Let me know when you're done. Let me know you're, when you're done. Let me know when you're done. Usually most people will get done between 40 and 55 seconds. Usually it happens right around there. So what I tell them is, okay, 40 seconds, 48 seconds, 52 seconds, 57 seconds. I give them all their times. And then what I do is I take the hand and I cover half my face. So from the nose to the ear, I will take that hand and I say, so if it takes about 42 seconds to do your face, how long, your hand, how long do you think it would take to do, do your face? And if you'll notice, the face is about the size of two hands. So I'll move, I'll cover half, my right half of the face with one hand, uh, the left side of my face. So I say, how long do you think it would take to do your face? And they'll say a minute or two. At this point, when they say, Remember, they're saying a minute or two. You want to anchor it and say, so it doesn't take very long, does it? Okay? And at that point, they'll say yes again. So now you have two agreements that it does not take a long time to use Mary Kay. It just depends on, I sometimes use that if I'm in the mood. If you start getting a time objection, you need to use it more often. At this point, you might want to tell them some of the benefits of um, your Mary Kay business that you have hostess gifts. You also have a gift-giving service. So for the holidays, Mother's Day, or if they have people that are hard, hard to shop for, you'll do that. It's also fun. They get to spend time with their friends. They can also earn free products. And at their second pampering session, where they do the checkup facial, they'll also get a customized eye design from you uh, for their skin type, face shape, and all that. At this point, we're going to show them what I call the world's most famous look, makeup look, which I lovingly call the dash out the door. And this is when you roll out of bed and you want to run out the door, but you don't want to look like you rolled out of bed and ran out the door. So we're going to start with bronzing powder. My favorite one is Desert Sun. You want to use the largest brush in the brush set to use the bronzing powder. Or you can use the powder brush that you get on... Um, that's for $4 on our order form, but you need a big fat brush for this to go on well. And how you put on bronzing powder is you want big bold strokes with like a capital I on the face. So you go across the forehead, up and down the nose, and across the cheeks like a capital letter I. So have them do big bold strokes across the forehead, up and down the uh, nose, and across the cheeks with the bronzing powder. The next step in Dash Out the Door uh, is if they do not want to use the bronzing powder, for example, if they have dark skin tones, you're going to want to use a cheek color. What I'm showing you is the correct placement for the cheek color. You're going to use the cheek color brush, which if you notice, the bristles are slightly shorter than the one for the powder brush. The cheek color starts at where the ear and the hair meet, and it ends at the bottom of the nose and end of the mouth. So that is the correct placement of the cheek color. Okay, let me go back to the cheek color. So you're going to have them put on the bronzing powder like an eye or the cheek color. Then you're going to use one of our cream eyeshadows. Right now my favorite color is apricot glaze. Give them a little bit of cream eyeshadow. Have them put it on from their eyelashes all the way up to the eyebrows. So the entire lid... And tell them the more they rub it, the lighter it'll get. So it'll start out kind of metallic, and as they rub it, it gets lighter and lighter and lighter. Then go ahead and take the brush with either the blush or bronzer, dab the eyes, because that will set the colors. After that, I just give them a lip gloss. I usually give everybody the same lip gloss. Give them either beach bronze or one of the pinks. And just because let them notice how natural it looks. And you're going to finish off with ultimate mascara. So cream eyeshadow, ultimate mascara, lip gloss, and bronzer in the shape of the eye, and that's dash out the door. It's very quick, and it's very pretty. So now let me tell you a little bit about how you can get our fabulous products. At this point, you want to close the show and give them the pricing. Um, they can also, at their checkup facial, get a customized color look, and this is one of the website looks that you can put in your eye color, hair color, 
and skin tone, and it'll generate a customized look for you. It also gives you instructions on how to make that look off of our company website. We also have a virtual makeover f feature on your website that they can use to see how colors will look on them by uploading a photograph of themselves. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and close out the show. Again, we're going to review all the sets again. So again, we're going to start with the skincare. Remember the cleanser and how it had the, the mask and the toner and an anti-aging product. And you can stick it in the shower and just use it there. You step out, you put on your moisturizer 100% oil-free, and then finish off with your foundation that was really nice and light. To that, you can also add the miracle, the milk in the morning, stars at night, which was our day solution that had our pro renewal system, that the protection with the UVA and UVB protection with the day solution, and then the vitamin A, C, and E night repair with the night solution. On your arm, we did the microdermabrasion. Remember, we did the aluminum oxide crystals to exfoliate the skin, and then the vitamin A and E serum for your new skin. We also did dash out the door with your cream, eyeshadow, lipstick, or lip gloss of your choice, and blush or bronzer of your choice, all with a cute compact. Uh, we also did our satin hands and satin lips. On your eyes, we did the big drink of water, the eye gel right there, the green one in the middle, followed by over here the eye primer, and we finished it off with the eye cream, which was a 10-hour time release. We also have the finishing set here with the concealer, the oil-free eye makeup remover, the lip primer, and the mascara that we did with the dash out the door. Now what I'd like you to do is close your eyes and take an imaginary trip to your closet and pick out an outfit that makes you powerful or special. Think about shoes, jewelry, hosiery, whatever you'd want to wear. Imagine you ran into an ex-boss or an ex-boyfriend. How would you want to look? How would you want to be perceived and remembered? Now, how often do you get to wear this thing you're thinking about? A couple of notes on this. Sometimes they can't come up with an outfit, in which case I just make a joke and say, go to Macy's, pick out an outfit that makes you feel special, okay? Um, they might say, I can't finish, uh, fit into this outfit, uh, you know, and I'll say, yeah, I have some of those too that I don't want to throw away, but I can't get into either. Uh, so the next question is, you want to ask them is, how often do you get to wear this outfit? And then I ask him, how much did that outfit run you? You want to give him ranges. Was it 100, under 100, over 100, 200, or more? And then what I show them is that your Mary Kay is way under the price of an outfit, and it's something you wear every day. So doesn't it make sense to spend some money on something you wear every day instead of something that you just wear once or twice a year or once or twice a month? And your makeup can make you look good and feel good and give you that confidence boost, the reason I got into Mary Kay every day. And then after that, you always want to get, end with some kind of special for the show. I will have another um, lesson on how to close a show because there's many nuances in closing a show. But at this point, you're going to go ahead and say, so now I'm going to go ahead and do your individual consultations, give you five minutes of my personal private time so you can ask any questions you may want. What I always do is I select I ask if someone needs to leave early. If someone needs to leave early, you start with them. Otherwise, you start with either the most pessimistic person or the most optimistic person. So it just kind of depends. If someone's really pessimistic and negative, then I might want to take them away so other people can think without their comments. Or if I think someone's going to buy a lot, you know, it's kind of monkey see, monkey do. If one person buys a lot, everyone else wants to buy a lot. So I'll pick them and go ahead and do an individual consultation with them in a separate room away from the table. Remember, I've already mentioned three or four times that we're going to have the individual consultation so they're not shocked or it's not a surprise. So I'll let the hostess say, Mandy, why don't you go ahead and serve the cookies and the lemonade? And then Yolanda, go ahead, grab your paperwork, and I'll work with you first. And after you're done with her, you tell her who to send in so there's no confusion on who's next or whatever. You control the order and make sure you keep it moving. So thanks so much for listening to our video on how to use the Mary Kay products. Hope you enjoyed this, and I hope some of these ideas will help you build your business like